Hey, nerdlings! What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for getting up really early on a Saturday just to hit up a local garage sale event? Mm-mm. Just pass by the old Freddy Krueger burial. This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding... Comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom Lacey collecting right now. Well, well, while she's sleeping, how about I tell you the tale? Around here, we have a little tradition the Greater Garage Sale. Garage Sale? There's everything you'd ever want with bargains by the ton. There's lots to see and lots to do and lots and lots of fun. Now every year... Did you say garage sale? <laughs> I like garage sales. Every year in January when the weather's nice and cold, hopefully, and you're kind of itching to get out of the house and you're missing your yard sales and garage sales and out hunting and everything, this is perfect because they have a huge building that they put this in. Lots of people come in, vendors table set up, and there's oh, tons yeah. of stuff to go through. Uh, and you don't have to drive from house to house. That is true. You just it's walk from booth place. to booth. <laughs> so they do charge a, a small admission price. I think it's like five bucks yeah. at the door four if you buy online but then you go in and you can find some pretty good deals and it goes on for two days so if you miss something the first day you can go back and get it the second day or hope that it's still there for you to go back <laughs> true you're gonna see like movies you're gonna see toys uh collectibles Antiques. plushies Lots of antiques from all across the board. A lot of craft goodies, too. Exactly. Including some food crafts. That's something that we usually yes. like to be a fan of because yeah. they will have some samples. Uh -huh. But it will be. So if you forget breakfast, <laughs> hit those up first. It will be kind of a fun little uh, kind of do it yourself dip. So it's all mm -hmm. of the seasonings, and then you mix in whatever the packaging tells you to. And we actually picked up we a couple did. this time. This time we got sweet and a savory one. So we got a tomato basil dip. And all you do with this is you add a cup of sour cream and a cup of mayonnaise. Now the sweet one, which is caramel apple, you add sour cream and cream cheese. Then let it set for, for about 24 hours in the fridge or so. You don't have to let it set that long, but the longer you let it set, the more the flavor comes out. They had uh, some pretzels to try the savory, and then the sweet ones, they had like some little animal mm -hmm. crackers. So you know what you're getting into. And then we also, because a lot of times they'll do like a three for 10 or three yeah, for 20, you know, five deals. for 20. So then we got from another booth, we got all savory ones. We got a glorious garlic, because who doesn't love a garlic dip? <laughs> and Vampires. <then> the <laughs> Vampires. And then this is the Seaside Special Crab Dip. And then I picked one out specifically for you. The Smoky the BLT. Smoky. Yeah. Smell that. Can you guys smell that? Yeah. it smells awesome. Again, this is the same thing as the other one where you add just sour cream and mayonnaise and then you make an amazing dip. And it's not just dips that they have. Sometimes they will have uh, some jams and jellies, things some like syrups, that. Syrups, Syrups, honey, local honey, yeah. which is really good. And then they also do some coffee stuff. Yes. So I took part in some pumpkin spice mm, cappuccino. This was good. their holiday special, so it was marked at, I think, half price. And, yeah. And I mean, you get like a nice bit in there. So yeah. I was like, all right, yeah. And stuff like this, it's typically you just add it to some hot water and then you have your drink. Mm -hmm. But if you're a coffee drinker, use that instead of a creamer or uh, basically make a nice hot chocolate, yeah, but a like hot a pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice, hot spice chocolate, chocolate yeah. type of thing. So good little flavoring. The point is, even if you're not there for antiques or collectibles or whatever, sometimes there can be some we'll other buy things. Some stuff. Just, just get that aroma in there. I can't breathe just now. Get it in there. <laughs> I got me something pretty boring, but very practical. I needed some new gloves. Because the gloves I had, I couldn't use with my cell phone. So I sat there and made sure that these gloves worked with my cell phone. Future gloves. I know, future gloves and all, so. 
it does get cold around here sometimes, so got some boring gloves. Doing a little surgery right here. Oh, surprise, there's more hiding in the basement. All right, well, let's look at some fun stuff. Sorry, gloves aren't very fun, though. They're comfy. Now, last year when we had gone, we came across a table that had lots of great yes. video games and gaming-related things, and for really nice prices. Yeah. Not only were they nice prices to begin with, as long as you bought a bunch of stuff, the guy was super easy to work mm -hmm. with. He would bundle things for you and give you an extra deal. And guess what? He was... Yeah, he was actually the first place we ran oh, to. Oh, yeah, We literally yeah, it was ran to it. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, tractor beam. <laughs> because I wanted to go through everything. Uh, I had a pretty big stack at first and I kind of narrowed it down and everything. And he cut me a great deal. A few things that I got were some games. Thanks to Captain Algebra streaming this one, I picked up X Mutants on the Sega Genesis because Sega. it seemed like it was a pretty fun game. And it's basically just an X-Men knockoff. <laughs> Wait, this is an X-Men? <sighs> Get rid of it. For the DS, just because it's a kind of a, a funky little extra thing, <laughs> the Nintendo DS browser. <laughs> this is kind of like the um, like when you what was it the Netflix discs for the PlayStation and oh, that's and true. Nintendo and stuff like that. You had to like actually get the yeah. disc, didn't you? And and we do have the Wii and the PS3 Netflix discs that you had to use to do your streaming. Those, those are, those are kind of interesting little tidbits. So this one, this is Invisimals on the PSP. It now, looks like a weird Pokemon. <laughs> I think that's probably what they're going for. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Pokemon makes some money. Let's like make something like that. Bulbasaur right there, and that's like a weird like Charizard Pikachu mix. <laughs> now, generally, this is the bundle pack that includes the PSP camera. And I got this for $3. This is actually everything but the game. But at $3, I was like, oh, that's a pretty good price to pick up the camera and to yeah. have that bigger box. You're going to come across the game a lot more often than you would come across the I, box I and agree. the camera and everything. So we definitely knew to jump on that one. Now, something that I wanted to add to the collection. Which I was surprised that we didn't already have. And I kept saying, you sure we don't have this? This is The Legend of Zelda. It is the box. And this is for the gray cartridge. Now, we actually have the box for Zelda II The Adventure of Link yeah. with that gray cartridge. This was from the classic series when these games were doing so well that they actually re-released them. And they went ahead and did the, uh, the standard gray cartridges, I think, to cut costs. It's like, I can't believe we didn't already have that. Well, <laughs> speaking of things I couldn't believe we didn't already have... It was time to put this into the collection. No kidding. The original Mega Man with that funky, hilarious, awful artwork. I know, that doesn't even look like Mega Man. Look at that middle-aged man holding his pistol, because that's Mega Man. It right? does look like he's trying to be an X-Man with like the blue and the yellow. <laughs> I'm Mega X-Man. <laughs> now, real quick, as the guy was talking to us, he asked if we wanted this. And on the back, if you look, the secret code has not been scratched off. So this is to get the mythical Pokemon Mew for Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X, or Y. Even if it had already been used, or if you can't use it anymore, like it's expired, something, you know, this is good for the collection, which is why I yeah, was like, yeah, totally Yeah, tuck it into the, the game case, you know, just to have. This next item, I spotted Yeah, first. the last thing that we got was the Club Nintendo stand. So it's the Mario hat. It's got the nice clear slider so you can adjust the width. This was one of the rewards that you could get back with the Club Nintendo points. Oh, oh how terrible is that? I'm gonna put that in what? there. What? And put some Zelda and Mega Man in there and Sega 2. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that game collection in that Mario oh, wait, wait, case. Wait, 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 What about this? Oh. <gasps> and I ate him. <laughs> the fun thing was he actually had a few different items from the Club Nintendo collection. He had the statue. Which we've already got. That we do have. Yes. And I think you could only get that if you reached a certain level. Mm -hmm. That was like a that bonus was a gift. Gift, yeah. For getting to a certain level. Yeah, you didn't even have to cash anything out. Yeah. I would like to say, as cool as this is because it's such a fun, unique item, honestly, my favorite Club Nintendo reward ever were the two Game & Watch collections for the DS. Yeah. To be honest, 
this was me being good because I, yeah. I really could have gone real crazy for those games. Stuff over there, stuff over there, stuff over there. What does she find? Legos. Legos. I was actually pretty good this time too. You were. I only, I found a couple things I wanted, but I only really popped on two toys. So the first thing I popped on, this little lizard that Obi-Wan runs around on. Um, I don't remember what they called it, do you? I don't either. I just remember the I fun sounds his noise. I thought he was so cute and his little suction things running up things, but he's kind of neat. If you tw twist his tail, he moves his head. So I've got to figure out what toy is going to be riding on him. You said Obi-Wan rode this? Yeah. Huh, I wonder if you mean Old Ben Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I wonder if he means Old Ben Kenobi. I think he'll pop <laughs> And then the other thing that I got, a, s a squishy, <laughs> plushy Spider-Man. It's imperative that you choose the proper Spider-Man. There's a lot to choose from. You gotta make sure you get the right one. Ah, clone spider. He's pretty good. But wait, it gets better because he's bendable. <laughs> Look at that. Woo, woo, woo. Now, once we got him, where did he live? He lived sticking out of the DK barrel and his hand was out. So he was like waving at people and, um, he, he did grab a few people's behinds. He might have. Times. Spidey. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he's just so cool. Now he's like Rocker Spidey. Da -na 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 -na. Punk Spider Man? Oh. I'm my biggest fan. I can't let the demons kill him. So yeah, that's what I got. One stop shopping, guys, you cannot beat that. So be sure you keep that ear to the ground in case your area does anything like that. And go check it out because even if you're not into the games or the toys or something, maybe you'll find some good treats because why not? Yeah. Or if you're into the games and toys, be on the lookout for good treats because why not? Yeah, you got to have something to, to fill you up while you're playing those games, those marathon games. Very true. <laughs> well, as always, nerdlings, please feel free to leave a like if you happen to like the video. And let us know in the comments down below what you thought of any of this. If you like the treats, if you have anything to say about any of the games or the toys. Uh, we will use our best imagination if you want to try to type out the sound these guys make. And of course... Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, because even though we put out videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, it's a great way to remind you that we did something new. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you know where we are. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Don't forget to go over and check us out on the Retro Refresh because that's an amazing place. And if we like it, we nerd it. <laughs> Stop it, Spidey! Now he's just wrapping you all up in his spider webs! We're Stop webbing me! Joke's on him. He doesn't even make webs anymore. He's so old. This is getting kind of awkward. <laughs>
really soft. It is. It's that faux Sherpa on the inside, and then the outside is faux fur. And I don't know, it kind of makes me think wolf, maybe. Like, yeah, I can almost see that. looks wolfy as. She dances with wolves. I do dance with wolves. And the first thing that caught my mind with it is it looked very, like, warm Renaissance. Not that we ever get Renaissance in the wintertime, but uh, it looked like a nice Renaissance y shawl, and it does have a hood on it. So as you can see, it's just a nice blanket. It's got buttons on it to hold it still. And it's super duper warm. <laughs> but it's not cold because Missouri never gets cold. So I'm taking this thing off. <laughs> okay. Now for the return trip, she actually went solo. I, I stayed at home because I had some video work that I needed to do. But there was something that was still on my mind. It was a system that I saw. And it's a system that I'm not very nostalgic for. I never had one. Pretty sure I actually never played one before either. But we did pick up a few games for it some years ago yeah. just because they were fun cartridges. And we're like, oh, we never see that stuff. Let's get them. The price was right. You made an offer for the TI-99. I made an offer he couldn't refuse. No, I decided to go up to him and I said, you know, we really love your booth. Do not be insulted at all. And he didn't even really hesitate all that much. He just goes, for you guys, I know it's going to a good home. And he goes, this was actually mine when I was a kid. So I know it's going to a good home. So, you know, it was one of those things I was very excited. Now, it's awesome to hear that it was his from when he was a kid because that means there's a really good chance that this works. It does seem to have all of the connectors that you're going to need. There look to be two controllers here, and he even threw in four games. The nice thing about that was I immediately checked when we brought this <laughs> home, and the games that we already had, these are all new. So, so yeah, no duplicates. Yeah, yeah. Very awesome. Ah! Oh no! Did you blow up the Enterprise? Kobayashi Maru. It's an unwinnable test! Spock, are you out of your Vulcan mind? Hey Paul, what's going on? Now one last note, our buddy BK has actually come across his old TI-99 <laughs> and he did a little bit of uh, work on it to get it up and running again and he's been testing it out too. So be sure to go check him out and see what he's doing with his own. And he's the one that has all the nostalgia for it. But honestly, it was almost too good that we saw this at the garage sale after BK had uh -huh. been talking about his. The time was just, just perfect. Did it, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we're done for real. So, of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go buy our shirts on TeePublic. Go over to the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it. Yay! It does good. <laughs>